Hello, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba, and today what we're going to talk about is how to adapt the Swiss Rolock dry glove system to an existing or new SciTech cuff system. So here are the uh, original Rolock uh, components that um, come in the uh, the kit, the Rolock 3 kit, uh, for example. And uh, what you do is you take the uh, uh, the silicone seal, uh, and this is the um, this is the wrist part of the seal, not the glove part. And uh, you fold it over like that, and then you use the um, the uh, rubber ring uh, in there to secure it. So the modification uh, that uh, needs to take place. Uh, in order for this to uh, to work properly is to uh, replace uh, this o-ring with another o-ring a uh, three inch uh, one eighth inch diameter uh, uh, o-ring and what you need to do is take the uh, uh, take the uh, silicone seal and uh, stick it on the uh, the wrist component like you might ordinarily do And you want to make sure that it's uh, approximately even with the top of the uh, approximately even with the top of the ring. And then uh, you take the narrower O-ring, uh, stick it over the top here, which provides um, your waterproof seal on that end. And then what you want to do uh, is you want to fold over the silicone seal back over this way. Okay, so. If you have uh, done this correctly, uh, it will look uh, it will look something similar to uh, something similar to this. All right. So we have this uh, this piece here. So this is going to go uh, into the SciTech uh, cuff, and there is a difference between the regular SciTech cuff, which is what this is. This is the quick cuff, and the Antares um, uh, quick cuff. Uh, so, um, if you're going to be doing this uh, with the Rolock 3, uh, you're going to be using an existing system like this, or you're going to be installing this system. Um, if you uh, have an Antari system, there's a good chance that uh, it's already installed. And um, what you can do is uh, you can get the Rolock 90 kit and use that uh, immediately with the uh, uh, with the Antares, whereas uh, we're talking about um, this one here uh, that you would retrofit. So one of the things that you'll notice uh, is because of the different uh, dimensioning of the conventional quick cuff uh, versus the Antares quick cuff is that um, it appears to be much more easy to install this because there are more options in terms of uh, fixing it to your dry suit sleeve. All right. Anyway, so um, if you have the Antares, you use the uh, Rolock 90 kit and you're, and you're finished. Uh, on the other hand, if you don't have... Um, uh, if you're using uh, latex seals glued directly to the dry suit, uh, or if you already have one of these, in order to um, use this uh, with the Rolock uh, system, you have to uh, do some modifications. So the first modification that you need to do, uh, whether this is installed or not installed, is you need to cut down, I don't know how well this will come out, you'll need to cut down this outer ring all the way to the first line right here. Uh, and then you need to cut it all the way around. And the reason why you need to do this is because the system will not properly fit inside uh, the unmodified SciTech quick cuff. So um, here's an example of one. Uh, while I was experimenting with this, uh, I was cutting it down to different lengths and I cut it all the way down, uh, completely uh, down to the rings. And uh, this is, uh, will still work, but it's um, not quite as stable, not nearly as stable as uh, if you cut it down uh, just to the uh, uh, to the ring uh, to the ring level right here. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you one that's been installed on a uh, waterproof uh, EX2 uh, dry suit. This originally came with the SciTech uh, um, Slago system, uh, which at the time did not have the ability to uh, use any kind of dry glove. Uh, that's since changed. Uh, they now have the Ultima system, which is a snap-in system, not a um, not a turning lock-in system. So, as you can see, uh, this uh, this uh, one has uh, the um, uh, the cuff uh, cut to the upper ring, 
Uh, and of course, this was uh, I cemented this onto the um, onto the sleeve of the uh, the EX2 after removing the Slago system. So then uh, you take the system right here, and all you have to do is uh, pop it in like that, and uh, it is extremely secure. The uh, hard shape of the ring, uh, the cuff ring, uh, provides stability to the flexible uh, polyurethane ring, uh, the quick cuff ring from Cytec, and it gives you quite a bit of stability. So, in the event that you were to um, rip your, uh, you were to rip your, um, your unit, uh, then you would very able to uh, very easily be able to uh, remove this and uh, change out the. Uh, change out the uh, silicone wrist seal and at the same time it's very protected so that was one of the original disadvantages of a direct installation of the Rolock 3 system onto uh, a fixed seal is that um, uh, it seemed to be um, not very well protected and in fact I think that uh, Rolock understood this and so what they did was they um, started selling a, a pair of uh, cuff protectors or uh, seal protectors that fit around here uh, but that was certainly a band-aid uh, situation where this makes it much more robust. Uh, so then the, um, this uh, part of the, um, the system, the Rolock 3 system, is the one that would have the glove on there. And um, you would uh, simply uh, line up the uh, two red dots like that and then rotate, rotate the um, glove part so that the two yellow dots would line up. And it provides a very smooth, very secure seal in comparison to any of the other locking units uh, out there. So you can use this um, uh, system with a dry glove. The dry glove again would be on this part, uh, or uh, you can use it without the um, without the dry glove. So it's a very flexible, uh, very flexible system altogether. So that's uh, basically. Uh, what the modification entails, it includes um, having to cut down the uh, having to cut down the uh, the ring uh, so it will fit properly in there, and uh, most critically, uh, changing the O-ring from the standard one uh, to uh, uh, the thin one that goes on um, the ring here. By providing that extra room in there, it enables it to lock in there, uh, lock in there securely. So that's the basic modification. It's really e uh, relatively easy to do. Um, uh, the biggest part, uh, if you do not already have the, uh, the Cytec system installed, the biggest part is uh, actually installing this onto your dry suit cuff. Okay, that's it for this video.